What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we got ourselves some vape mail, so stay tuned. That is right, YouTube. Today we got ourselves some vape mail. This is courtesy of GearBest. I'll have links down in the description below to GearBest on whatever it is I get sent to me, as well as some future reviews coming out shortly. Now, if this is what I think it is, I believe this is actually going to be a Maxo, and there might be something else in there as well. I felt two packages in there, which I'm really excited about. But if it is a Maxo, ironically, I actually waited so long for this package that I went to the depot today and picked up a new mod. This guy right here, this is the Wismec 300. That's right, the Quad Battery 300 which is good because I have to get four new batteries for it to marry them. And I'll be using those four batteries in the Maxo, assuming I do have one in here. If I don't have one, then I'll just use in the 300. But if there is one in here, I will definitely be using them in both my quad devices now and looking forward to running those ones and seeing how well they perform. On top of that, if there is a Maxo in here, I will be doing a head-to-head -head review on the Maxo and the Wismec RX300. Just give a side-by-side -side comparison, see which one I like better. I'll do it in a couple weeks so I have some time with each of them to figure out which one I decide to go to more and which one I'm going to a little bit less. Other than that, what do you say we get down and dirty, dig into the package, and see what it is GearBest sent us. All right, guys, we are down and dirty. Got my trusty knife here. We're gonna open this up. I have it upside down right now because my address is on the one side, and we're just gonna open it up from here. Hopefully I don't slice myself open and take a little peek inside here. Looks like we definitely got some stuff in here. All right, looks like a receipt. I will be moving that off to the side and let's see what we have. Oh, we got a couple things. All right, all right. So first thing, this does look to be the iJoy Maxo. It looks to be the red version, which is awesome. There we go, uh, made in China. And if we see right down there, we can barely see Maxo Quad 18650 box mod. All right, nice. We'll open that up in just a second. Let's see what else we got in here. We also have a Fumitech Windforce RTA. Let me know if you guys have tried this out before. I haven't yet, so let me know what your thoughts are if you already have one of these and if you like it or not. Put that off to the side. And finally, we got one more thing in here. This is, uh-oh, uh-oh. There it is, guys. That is the H Cigar. This is a VT-167. Now, why is that no? Oh, well, anyone who's seen my other videos, in particular, do not buy from H Cigar, I was supposed to be boycotting H Cigar. So this could be interesting. After my VT-200 bricked on me after just a couple short weeks of use, I actually decided to do a rant video on H Cigar. I swore I would never review a product of theirs again. But seeing as this was sent to me, not from H Cigar, but instead by GearBest, I will probably put one out and give you my thoughts on this. They might be able to make up for it with this one. I will let you know, but that could be a future review as well. So we have the VT-167, the Windforce RTA, and of course the Maxa, which we're gonna open up right now. All right, looks like you have a little tab here that you can pull on just to open it up quicker, if I can actually get it open. Already packaging on this compared to the Wismec RX300. They're very similar packaged products. The Wismec has more pictures. This one's more simple. I kind of like the simple a lot, but I also like the picture just so you can see what you're actually getting. Then you got the back of the box here for the Wismec 300. And of course, the back of the box for the iJoy, very plain. Anyways, eventually I'm gonna find out how I open this thing. And there's gotta be a tab here somewhere, I would assume. All right, I'm gonna fast forward through this part. Here it is, Never mind. We found it, we found it, there it is. All right, let's tear this thing open. I'm pretty excited that it's the red version. I don't think I've seen the red version yet, but uh, let's see what it looks like. All right, and again, big thank you to GearBest for sending this stuff out to me for review. Um, actually, I'm in the process of reviewing something else from GearBest that was sent to me as well. And I will have that video out here shortly. I'll show you that when we go back up top here real quick, but um, what it is I'm talking about. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the Maxo and see how it looks. All right, quick unboxing here. There it is, there's the red Maxo, wow. All right, certainly interesting. Let's see here, these are the vent holes slash the decoration things. It's pretty cold right now, which is worrying me a little bit. Let's hope it still works. I'll let it warm up before I plug anything into it. We'll get to the bottom of the box as well so we can see what's in here. Uh, there we go. And at the bottom of the box, we have our charge cable. Already a big plus that it actually has a twist tie around it. The one for the Relo 300 did not come with a twist tie around the charge cable. 
or around the USB cable, I should say. I, I don't know if it's actually a charge cable. Um, ignore that. I'll probably try and cut that out. But anyways, here you have your different face plates for it. So that's kind of cool. It comes with different ones. You can choose which one you want to stick on here right down there. And a little user manual on the bottom there. I'll be reading that as well before I put the review out and before I do the head to head. So one thing I did notice with the Wismec 300 is that it actually supports 1.5 amp charging allegedly. I'll be doing some tests on that as well though, just to see if it actually supports it and how the batteries are looking after maybe doing say uh, three or four days consecutively charging just in the device. There's the battery sled down there. Pretty simple. Close that up and that's pretty much it. So let's go back up top and I'll show you what else I got from Gearbest that you should be seeing very shortly. All right, guys, we're back up top. And as promised, I do have something else I'm working on for review for Gearbest as well. I'm gonna grab it here just off to the side. And it's this guy, we got a vape bag. All right, the big question is, is it useful? Has it helped me out in any way? Is it any more convenient than my backpack that I usually take with all my stuff in it? And how do I feel about it? Um, what kind of reactions do I get with it? That's a big one. And other than that, I mean, so you'll see this review coming out very shortly and I'm just in the process of working on it. I have a few more parts I want to shoot to it before I actually put it all together in editing, but hopefully that should be out, uh, I would say this weekend. And if not, I mean, I'll probably still work on it and might be out, you know, in a week or so, if not this weekend. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. So again, thank you guys for watching. And of course, until next time, happy vaping YouTube.